We're at Sandbag Central, which is located at 2301 8th Avenue North. Normally, this serves as our solid waste utility office and garage where we collect garbage and recyclables on a daily basis. But over the past few springs, this has become better known as Sandbag Central, where due to problems that we developed about 14 years ago with the spring flood fight, decided we wanted to try fill sandbags in a controlled environment so that weather didn't become uh, a problem for us. Back in 1997, we moved into uh, the garbage utility building. It's been known since that time as Sandbag Central, and once again in 2011, we've set up in Sandbag Central with the goal of producing three million sandbags in four to five weeks. We're now inside Sandbag Central. The sand has been brought to the outside and piled in stations out there. Most of the sand that we're utilizing is brought in uh, out of sand pits uh, from West Central Minnesota. Uh, the one thing we did learn here in previous floods is that we have to utilize finely washed sand as opposed to pit run sand. And the difference with those is that in washed sand, they've removed all the clays and the silt. And so they bring the sand in, pile it outside of Sandbag Central here. Uh, they bring it in trucks that haul probably 12 to 14 uh, cubic yards of the sand. Uh, we, we pile that up and then begin to utilize a dozer going back and forth, breaking up some of the frozen chunks. Once we feel it's in a condition to be brought inside then, we've got three loaders that bring that inside. The loaders are anywhere from three and a half to five yard buckets. Uh, that's brought inside here and piled in uh, stations. The stations inside can utilize the sand for probably about four to five hours when our spider machines are running at, uh, at full blast. And uh, the, the loaders then load that into the back of the sand trucks. The sand trucks themselves are probably eight to ten uh, cubic yards. Each truckload would make about a thousand sandbags. Here at Sandbag Central, we utilize what we call sandbag spiders to help us fill sandbags. Sandbag spiders are as automated a sandbagging equipment as we've been able to find. Each machine contains 12 individual chutes or sandbagging stations. Each of those stations can handle up to six or seven volunteers per station. In other words, about 72 volunteers per sandbag spider. The way that we get the sand to the sandbag spider is we need to elevate the sand and we do that by putting sand on 75 foot conveyors to transport the sand to an upper auger on top of the sandbag spider. That auger then rotates and fills each of the 12 chutes every seven seconds. What that means is each sandbag spider can produce up to 5,000 bags per hour, an extremely efficient way to sandbag. The way each sandbag station works is we have a volunteer that holds an empty sandbag under the chute. The chute will distribute exactly one half sandbag worth of sand uh, every seven seconds and then at the station the volunteer at the chute will pass that bag on to the person next to them they'll spin the top pass it on to the next person the top will be tied with the wire tie gun and then at the end of the station there are two or three people that take the filled sandbag place them on pallets from which the full sandbag pallet is taken to a shrink wrap station and the pallets are completely wrapped with shrink wrap so they're ready to be deployed to the primary line of protection and placed in sandbag levees. Once the process is completed here at Sandbag Central, the filled pallets of sandbags are loaded on semi-trucks and taken to heated storage warehouses in Fargo, both North and South Fargo and there we'll await for uh, deployment orders from our city engineer's office and all of those sandbags will be deployed out to Fargo's primary line of protection where the bags will then be used to build the sections of sandbag levees that the city requires. I think it's obvious from watching this that sandbagging efforts in Fargo and in any flood fight effort is nearly 100% dependent on volunteer participation. So without that, we really are not able to achieve our goal here. We'd like to throw a quick shout out to all of our volunteers who helped us here at Sandbag Central. It just confirms that this is a wonderful place to live and work.